When Mike told me that the theme for the shareholder meeting is speculation, I'm sure he expected us all to immediately think of money, which I did, but maybe not in a traditional sense. Time travel has always fascinated me, mostly because I can't get my head wrapped around the concept of the butterfly effect. Basically, if I were to go back in time, anything I do will alter my 2021 Becky. Now, how would I know if my life were altered and would I care? Today, I'm going to ask you to suspend your rational thinking, forget about the butterfly effect, forget about any science behind time travel, and whether or not you have to time travel naked like the Terminator. My thinking on this topic really isn't based on planning your travel or falling into a time rift behind the car wash. No amount of planning will prepare you for what you'll find at your destination. Today I want you to think about more mundane things about time travel, like how will you eat? How will you get along in society? And the answer is money. We read the book Money by Jacob Goldstein in the K5M book club. And one of the things that really stuck out to me was that money is whatever you pay your taxes in. Do you have to give a quarter of all of your cows to the king? Cows are your currency. Do you pay Bitcoin to the IRS? Crypto is your currency. But what happens when you're in a time or a place where the currency is so different than what you have available that it's completely useless? Even if you stuffed your Stewie Griffith time travel knapsack full of good old US dollar bills, arriving in 13 BC Rome won't do you a bit of good. First of all, the Romans at that time didn't use paper currency and any coins that you happen to have in your pocket don't look anything at all like what was used at the time. They might be the same color but certainly not the same shape or design. And sure, maybe you could use the metal composition of the coins to trade if you spoke conversational Latin or Greek. Just for fun, let's assume that you do speak conversational Latin or Greek and were able to convince somebody to trade with you, an oddly dressed, oddly appearing, oddly speaking person they probably think is mentally ill and needs a good trepanning, what would you trade for? Would it be a Jack and the Beanstalk type situation? Your perfectly good looking silver coin for a couple of raw beans with no way to cook them? How would you know if those beans were worth your pretty silver coins? They wouldn't look like your regular beans, they might be edible, but how would your body react? You are not used to breaking down carbohydrates like that. Now you have bad stuff coming out of both ends because of rotten beans. How do you pay for a doctor? What if you were able to pull a Marty McFly and time travel to a specific time and destination, a planned trip? It would be easier going back to 1955, especially if you're able to land in an area you somewhat recognize. You've planned ahead. You've trained. You know all the lingo of the hip kids. You know all the popular music of the time. And you've managed to scrounge up some 1955 currency. Maybe you've even brushed up on your table manners. Now what? You don't have valid ID. Well, that shouldn't be hard to get. You brought your birth certificate, right? Oh, wait, you were born in 1980. Oh, but you brought your social security card. No, not helpful. That won't be issued for another 25 years. Maybe you can fake the documents without a computer. Do you even know how to use a typewriter? How long until you run out of whatever money you were able to bring with you? How will you legally make more? Let's take a look along the other way to the future. Just for argument's sake, let's pick a nice round number. 200 years in the future. Again, this is a planned trip. You can't really brush up on your culture. Who knows what it'll look like. Keep in mind that 200 years ago, you couldn't even be seen in public without a hat. Here you are, suddenly pop into existence 2221 in your jeans, your t-shirt, maybe a hoodie, your Chuck Taylors. Do you blend? Probably not. Has society turned into a demolition man style, high-end Taco Bell dining, where most folks are wearing pointy clothes or robes? Do you have to figure out how to use the three seashells? Maybe, since history seems to repeat itself, everyone is wearing caveman pelt jumpers. 
And did you remember to pack your pelt? Probably not. How are you going to pay for dinner at the super fancy KFC? Heck, how are you going to pay for a rat on a stick cooked over a running car engine? Some of the crazy out-of-date dollar bills you packed, possibly? Or, better yet, maybe you were smart enough to set up a savings account for your 2021 self, figuring that you could let it build up interest and just take the money out in the future. Well, a couple things with that. Financial institutions can only hang on to money for seven years before it gets turned over to the government as unclaimed. And wouldn't somebody have you declared dead after you've been missing that long? Run off with your $100 savings account? Let's just suppose that neither of those things happen. Your $100 has been consistently gaining interest over the last 200 years. Based on today's rate, a little bit of inflation adjusting, you're looking at about $1,500 in accrued interest. Okay, cool, but what happens if the currency is no longer U.S. dollars, but blue corn? How much of that did you have saved up? We can speculate all we want what the future will bring, and by looking at the past, we can make some inferences, but really, no one knows. I want to leave you with a quote I found by Steve Moffat, who is a writer for Doctor Who. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect. But actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, and more like a big ball of wibbly, wobbly, timey, wimey stuff. Thanks.